What's going on, y'all? I'm Mariah Elise, and as most of you guys know, here we talk about the very large spectrum of what we call the art world, from art market analysis to how specific sectors in the art world work, to my personal experience and the perspective of the art world. Today, we're going to dig into what exactly an artist residency is, the right one could be career and world altering for the artist, and how do you even, as an artist, choose the right residency? But before we get too deep, I want you guys to go ahead and click that like button and that subscribe button if you vibe with me and i'll see you guys at the end of the video so i'm sure the most important question is what is an artist residency like so many of you guys watching i've had to go on the amazing freaking race around the world to discover the information that i now know about the art world and i really just want to make it digestible for people when i first learned about artist residencies it was mind-blowing to me to me Residencies could easily be one of the most important sectors of the art world. And I personally think they're pivotal in shaping and expanding an artist. And given the right residency, it's gonna open up life altering opportunities. Now in the simplest of descriptions, an artist residency or artist residencies are stationed all around the world. This gives the artist the opportunity to work and live outside of their typical environment. And it essentially gives the artist the time, sometimes the solace, the peace and the reflection that they genuinely need, as well as the inspiration that they've genuinely needed outside of their regular space, their regular studio space. Most importantly, this allows the artist unwavering studio time, providing the artist a studio, often a place to live. And if you're lucky and you choose a really good residency and you get accepted, maybe you can get a really good stipend. And that's all without the outside distraction of what your typical day to day looks like. All of those distractions that happen in your hometown. Now, often artists look for residencies that are in cities, countries and environments that are going to foster their development and their creativity. It's going to be expansive in opportunities and going to place them around people who will add to them as an artist. Whether those are other artists who are also on residence, collectors, curators, the director of the residency, the entire staff is going to put them in very close proximity with people that can help develop them as an artist. Now, I advise, I, I really advise artists to spend so much time and be patient when you guys are looking for the right residency. Make sure it's going to adhere to your needs. It's going to help you develop as an artist. And I really advise you guys to look at the history of the artists who have been in residence of that residency. And as a nod to collectors, I advise you also to pay attention to those residencies and who's at the residency and who this residency has fostered and grown. Now, before we keep on going, I want to key you in on a couple of new things that I'm going to be implementing in 2022. I did a poll a few days ago asking you guys if y'all wanted me to mix it up instead of doing things that are so informational like this, then maybe I can implement a few vlogs and take you guys on the road with me, take you guys to studio visits with me, take you guys to when I visit different cities and different artists in different cities. And you guys said that you wanted that to happen. So in 2022, I'm planning to make my videos or some of my videos a little bit more episodic instead of so stoic with me sitting in one place. You guys will get a chance to see me move around and talk to the different artists and see what I actually do on the day to day. I'm also going to introduce to you guys a Patreon account. I have so many people emailing me and signing up for consultations and asking me for advice. I'm just going to make it a lot more easier and streamlined for you guys. I'm also in that Patreon going to give you guys access to artist guides, collectors guides, and just make everything so much easier, give you guys access um, and guides that you can access at all times. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is how and why residencies could be world altering for artists. Now here, I just really want to profile the Studio Museum of Harlem so you guys can get an idea and understand understanding of how specific residencies can put you in a specific focal point within the art world. Now through the Studio Museum residency, you have some of the most notable artists of our time. Artists like Carrie James Marshall, Micheline Thomas, David Hammonds, Jordan Castile, Elliot Reed. And I really advise you guys to take a look at who's currently in residence and then watch their career after that. Artists like Texas Isaiah, I've been following him for a while. So to see him in residence there, I'm really excited to see that. Now in another video, we can really dig deep into the Studio Museum of Harlem and why it's such a pivotal part of African-American artists, our black artists in America and what that museum has fostered and done through education and um, and teaching and studies and why they're so significant and why I view it as such a pivotal institution within our world. 
I know I know I didn't dive too deep into that, but what I want you guys to do is go look at those five or six artists that I'll talk about and look at their career from beginning to end. And then look at their career after they were in residence at the Studio Museum of Harlem. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is how do you specifically choose the right residency that really aligns with you and where you wanna go in your career as an artist. Now, the first thing I want you to do is write down specific answers to these questions. The first thing I want you to answer is, can you leave your current life behind? For how long and how far can you go? That's gonna allow you to shape your research location-wise of where you can actually go. Do you need to be looking for something within your proximity? Are you able to leave? I want you to also write down B, why do you want to attend an artist residency in the first place? That's also going to allow you to help narrow your search. A lot of residencies have very completely different programming. So once you understand who you are as an artist and what you want to expand, you'll understand what residencies you want to join. I also want you guys to do tons and tons and tons of research and even more research. I want you to look at the quality of the staff. Who's teaching? Who's gonna be mentoring you? Who is going to be around you? Who's gonna help build you? Who are you gonna learn from? Who was a part of that residency? Who's giving support to that residency? Who's an advocate for that residency? All of those things are important and they'll allow you to know who you will be connected to. I want you guys to look at what artists they've developed. I also want you to look at what are these residencies near? And I mean, what is it close to? Is it close to the city? Is it close to an emergency room? Is it close to things that you need in your life? A lot of times these residencies are in the middle of nowhere. And even though it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and it gives you inspiration, it gives you all of this solace, maybe you're a person that needs to be near things um, for your health, maybe. I want you guys to take a look at all of those things when you're researching so you can refine where you should be applying to. I want you guys to read and talk to as many people you can who has experience with this residency. Every residency is so different that you need to know clearly what you're looking for and what they can give you and what you can give it. Then I want you guys to start applying. But before you do, make sure you have all of your ducks in a row. Make sure you have your artist statement and your bio and you know how to talk about your work. And what I'm saying is be prepared. Do your research. Understand where you're applying. Now, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. A very, very minimal base description of what a residency is talked about the Studio Museum of Harlem. I really want you guys to go look at those artists, look at their career before, look at their career during their residency, look at their career after their residency. I want you guys to understand all of these sectors of the art world because it's not taught and it's not it's not taught and this information is just not available and I 100% absolutely need it to be. This is, this is more than important to me. I'm passionate about this and I think that this information is important. But per usual, I'm about to go ahead to an art show to support an artist that I just started working with. Her name is Erica Alonzo. I've absolutely fallen in love with her work, her gesture use the way that she uses color, the way that she studies movement. And I've been getting to know her a bit and I like her. And I always thought that was important, liking the people that I work with and choosing the people that I work with on top of falling in love with their work. So I want you guys to take a look at her work. I'm gonna put it in the description. Also guys, if you have any inquiries about her work, email me at MariahElise at EliseArtGroup.com. That's in the description as well. Follow me on Mariah Elise, and that's M-O-R-I-A-H-A-L-I-S-E-E. -E. But I really urge y'all to follow my business account, which I am building. It's tagged at Elise Art Group. Again, we're developing. There you're gonna start to catch a lot of the content that we're working on through Elise Art Group, and you guys will get to see all of the artists that um, are assigned to my management. I'm gonna go to this exhibition and I'm gonna enjoy the people and I'm gonna enjoy the art, but I'm gonna stay safe. So you guys stay safe too. And I'll talk to y'all next time. All right, peace.